Football is back in the ACC. We get our first look for FSU. It's Sam McCall, the five-star freshman, and he's dragged down just outside his own 15-yard line. That's where Florida State will start with the Rock for the first time this year. Back in the shotgun. It's Ward again. They're feeding him early, and he's tripped up right near midfield. That one could have gone the distance, but it's another first down FSU. But watch, as he approaches the line of scrimmage, the patience to see where the defenders are going to end up. FSU operating at a crisp tempo on this first drive. It's Ward again, and it's a first down again. That one goes for 14. Huge flash plays from him. Think about last year, a 75-yard touchdown reception against Clemson. It's back to Toa Feely on the ground, and he has stood up after a short gain, but it's enough to move the sticks for Florida State. Nice tackle from Jeremiah Jofus. And now it's Trey Benson, the third man through this backfield rotation after Ward and Toa Feely. And Benson, the Oregon transfer, gets the call around the left side, swarmed by Dukes, stays on his feet. Trey Benson has a first down. Third down and four. Travis back in the gun on the QB keeper. Here comes Travis across the goal line. FSU's on the board, and it's QB1 who scores. To go for it. Let's go back to the touchdown. It's a little split zone look. Jordan Travis has the option to hand it off or keep it behind number 45, Preston Daniel, who's going to come across the formation and throw a lead block. Just gets right behind his big fellow who does a nice job of just shielding. It's a good read by Travis. Good play design by Mike Norvell and new offensive coordinator Alex Atkins. Getting the quarterback involved. Seven touchdowns. They want that passing threat with Mishler as well. Mishler, the junior out of Erie, PA, rolls left, throws, and it's caught. First down, Duquesne. Abdul Jannah with the catch and a big hit late that draws our first flag tonight. Second down and eight after the short gain on first down. This one's going nowhere as well. It's first in there again to take down Lucas. Loss of one brings up third and long. Middle are going to combine to be one of the best two defensive tackle tandems. But watch verse. Able to get to the inside. Love it comes from the. Four wide receivers for Mishler, who throws to the right side. It's too tall for his intended wideout, and FSU comes up with a stop on the first defensive possession of the season. Travis starts in the pistol. Treshawn Ward again is the running back to begin the drive, and he flashes the speed around the right edge. Treshawn Ward is taken down near the first down marker. Move those sticks, first down FSU. Without throwing a block on the play side, Florida State gets a nice game. Travis airs it out. There's Wilson, hauls it in inside the 20. Johnny Wilson, welcome to Tallahassee, inside the five. When you have six foot seven receivers that run like a deer, you throw it deep to him. Johnny Wilson makes the big play. Travis, wasting no time, gives it to Toa Feely. Tiptoes his way into the end zone. Touchdown Seminoles. Tempo hands it off to Toa Feely up the middle. Offensive line creates the push, and Florida State up two scores. They'll kick the extra point with Ryan Fitzgerald. And he knocks it through to make it 13-0 Knowles. Third down, it gets loud here at Doak. Mishler rolls to his right. Looks to throw across his body. Knocked down and nearly picked off. He is great in pass coverage. They're excited about him. As Michael Baraducci back out for his second punt today. Micah Pittman has space, fielding it just inside his own 40. Made one man miss, and Pittman lunges forward to the edge of that FSU logo near the 45-yard line. So we're back to second down and four with 3.30 to play in this first quarter. Travis on the keeper shows you those shifty moves. Down near the first down marker, and that will move the sticks for FSU. Jordan Travis can eliminate a defender by pulling the ball like he did there. This time he does give it to Benson, and the Oregon transfer finds some daylight, sets a tackle, and has a first down for the Seminoles. 16 carries for a buck 20 for FSU, keeping it on the ground. This time, though, Travis throws on the run. It's on the money, caught by Span inside the red zone. Span up the sideline. He's wide open. 
Motions Treshawn Ward to his right hip. It is Ward who gets the call. Right up the gut. Touchdown, Seminoles. Treshawn Ward is on the board in 2022. All right, I want you to watch Jasden Turrentine, the right guard, and Bless Harris, the right tackle. They combine to just absolutely collapse the right side of the line of scrimmage. And Treshawn Ward has the easy job of just dancing through the hole and getting in the end zone. But it's a great job by turn time, the South Carolina transfer, Bless Harris, the Lamar transfer. Fitzgerald back out for the extra point. 20 to nothing FSU with under a minute to play in the first quarter. Billy Lucas was the tailback, but instead of giving it to him, they give it to DeMarcus Ware, not to be confused with the former Cowboys edge rusher. And the Samford transfer has 20 yards on first down. On who is going where, but they make it look like zone going one way, DeMarcus Ware goes the other. Nice pickup on first down. They think is the best player in the league, the Northeast Conference, but Ware's been solid here in the opener. He gets the call again on second down and short falls forward near first down yardage. Play clock winds down to three for Mishler in the empty set. Takes the snap on second down and eight. Has a completion. Finds his man, Jinnah. First down, Duquesne. At the 31 yard line, maybe a no man's land for a field goal. Third down and nine. Mishler uncorked. Slots of contact. Jinnah again the intended receiver, but Jarian Jones knocks it away. Brustowitz swings the leg. Sailing right. No good. Speaking of Oregon transfers, again, it's Benson behind Travis in the pistol. Travis keeps. Will he uncork again? Yes, he will. Trying to find McLean. Lots of contact, and there's the flag. Tim Lowry gave a shoulder shimmy to Malik McLean. Three of them on the ground for FSU in that first quarter from three different guys. Here's Benson around the right edge. Shakes free from the tackle. There's the Trey Benson we've been waiting to see. Trey Benson finally dragged down by Todd Hill at the 30-yard line. And Duquesne. I mean, watch this. You got Todd Hill creating some penetration in the backfield. They have Trey Benson dead to rights. But all he does is break. He has been almost untackleable in this game. FSU moving quickly again. It's Pittman on the screen one more time. Micah Pittman can make guys miss. He's in the red zone with an FSU first down. Travis keeps it on the ground. Benson tried to cut up field around the right side. It'll bring up fourth down and short for FSU. 24-yard field goal. Right down the middle. Play clock under five. That's how the Dukes operate. Marcus Ware, the running back, gets the call. Stood up at the line of scrimmage. Brings up third down where Duquesne's 0 for 3 tonight. I want to know where those guys got the headshots taken, Riley. Those things are crisp. Probably at the Seminole. Oh, oh, so yeah. I'm jealous. They look good. Third down and one for Joe Mishler and Duquesne. He completes the pass on the rollout to Logan Lutz, the tight end, who has a first down and more. To play in a building like this, but these guys are very aware of this moment. There's Billy Lucas on the give, their first string running back, who's chopped down at the line of scrimmage. This low to throw. Lofts it, left sideline, broken up. Robinson's in there again. Two all-conference performers on the edges, Jermaine Johnson and Keir Thomas. Baraducci back out to kick it away. Micah Pittman calls for a fair catch inside his 15-yard line. And the FSU offense will come back to work. Trey Benson and Lawrence Ophelia have had pretty nice games, too. Yeah, Treshawn Ward, what a nice start to his season. 69 yards already. This one is complete over the middle. First down FSU as Kentron Portier, 88, and Garnet hauls it in. Second down and 10 for Jordan Travis, who's been dialed in to start this season. Toa Feely puts his foot in the ground and has a first down FSU. Watch how crisp this cut is, how quickly he changes directions on the safety. No, sir. Toa Feely, the running back to his left, who's been feasting on this drive. Travis keeps it, finds a seam, and the quarterback is wrestled down by C.J. Barnes. 13 out, 13 crime, but another first down for the Noel. Letting them go out and dominate this defensive line. Now we asked Norvell about the running back split he wants to see as Ward is back in there, and Travis keeps it and fires a dart. Deuce Span has a first down for the Seminoles. He's 
9 for 12 today. This time they keep it on the ground, and Ward has daylight. Trey Sean Ward, spin move, Ward stays on his feet. Inside the 10, Trey Sean Ward's all over the circle button tonight. Easy to fall in love with. The balance is another thing. He's always under control. The patience behind the blocks, and then the ability to spin it down the field. Man, Trey Sean Ward's been a star. They give it right back to him as a flag comes in behind the play. Ward dropped inside the five by Todd Hill and Gianni Rizzo, a couple of Duquesne linebackers. With two wide receivers, one on either side. Travis keeps it, evades the rush. This is what he can do, but he's dumped for the first time this season. That's Todd Hill, maybe the best player on this Duquesne defense. You're going to see him on the right side of your screen. He's just going to keep fighting. Defends the block. Dimitri Emanuel trying to, to keep him from getting to Jordan Travis. Approaching a minute in the second quarter. Travis on second down and goal from a mile away. Has a completion. What a snag by Kentron Portier to get the sack back and then some set up third down and goal from the six. And a 10 second difference between play clock and game clock. Travis to throw over the middle. Tried to find Portier again, but the throw was wide left. Another 24 yard attempt for Fitzgerald. He is two for two this season. Both from that distance, and it's 26 0. Florida State taking care of business. Bunch of Pittsburgh guys on the staff. They're speaking Pittsburghese in that building. It's a proud program with a bunch of success recently. They'll keep it on the ground again to try to burn the rest of this clock in the second quarter. Where is dropped? Check the time. Six seconds as Norvell uses his final timeout of the first half. Bunch to the left with three receivers. Mishler looks that way. Pass was deflected and it falls incomplete. You gotta, you gotta give credit where credit's due, man. Michael Baraducci back out to punt after the third three and out tonight for Duquesne. Micah Pittman lets it bounce. It touched a Seminole inside the 40. And see FSU does fall on top of it. Trayshawn War was fantastic. Then he's been fantastic so far in this one. Low snap for Travis. That has not been an issue tonight. He picks it up, lets it fly, has a man inside the 20. Kentron Portier in the red zone. In the ACC, and you see it right there, puts it on Kentron Portier on the double move. Back in the gun. Heavy set, Travis. Back to Ward. Picks his way into the end zone. Touchdown, FSU. And the former walk-on, Trayshawn Ward, is the man tonight, Tallahassee. Just look at the patience. The offensive line does a nice job latching on the blocks. Trayshawn Ward finds the seam. You hear a collective gasp across the capital of Florida. Ryan Fitzgerald knocks through the extra point. 33-zip FSU. Well, Lucas only seven carries for 13 yards. Offensive coordinator Anthony Gorey said he's the best player in their league. That's DeMarcus Ware, the running back who's going nowhere. Spun down to the backfield. Tatum Bethune, 15 and Garnet. It's going to come right through the gap between the right guard and the center. Diagnoses it immediately. He's able to make the tackle in the backfield. Mishler to throw. Right side, single coverage, knocked away. And a big flag. Two flags come in as Azaria Thomas, the true freshman out of Niceville, Florida, is involved on this one. Four-star recruit out of Florida. Older brother Wanye, standout at Georgia Tech. Now playing with the Cowboys in preseason. Had a pick the other night. First down and 10 for Mishler and the Dukes. It's where again and again. Good luck. DJ Lundy, 46, was the first man there. This year, they know what they've got, and it's a great defensive unit. Mishler gets the snap off on second down and 11. Low throw is caught and immediately chopped down. Sixth punt of the night for the sophomore out of Allison Park, PA. they caught by Pittman right outside his own 30. Longest carry, 20 yards by Treshawn Ward. Rodemaker takes the snap. Give again to Toa Feely. Pushes the pile forward for a first down, FSU. Beautiful pass down the field to Johnny Wilson. And some other nice plays as well. Rodemaker's in there now, and it's 
Treshawn Ward on the give, and he has been a superstar tonight. Still on his feet. Treshawn Ward chewing up yardage. This guy with the ball in his hands. He's as competitive a runner as there is in the league. Refuses to go down. This is the third quarter of a 33 to nothing game, and this dude is fighting and scratching and clawing for every single yard. Tate Rodemaker with a chance to prove himself in the opener. Fires over the middle. It's picked off. Taken away by Ryan Webb for Duquesne. And he's got space. Ryan Webb still on his feet. And he stumbles at the 30-yard line. It's a, an excellent play by Ryan Webb. Undercutting the throw. The throw behind Malik McLean. See if he catches a foot or something. Oh, no. Turf monster. monster. Got him. Trey Benson was probably going to walk him down, too. But... <laughs> Kick it got by the turf monster. Second down and short. Mishler keeps it after the play fake. Lobs it toward the end zone. Hauled in. Touchdown, Dukes. Abdul Janah puts Duquesne on the board. Just like that. Delivers the ball on time and accurately. Puts it up where only his guy can get it. Duquesne, the Dukes on the board here in Tallahassee. So for Duquesne, it's the first time outside their own 25-yard line on their eighth drive, and they cash in. Tate Rodemaker is back in there at quarterback alongside Lawrence Toafili, and the running back gets the call, makes a couple of Dukes miss, and is finally tripped up near the 40-yard line by Jeremiah Josephs. One of the most improved guys during camp, just overall, the patience on the counter play. See two pullers coming from the backside. This guy who burst onto the scene as a true freshman back in 2020. It's Toa Feely again for the third time in a row. He picks up another first down and plunges forward into Duquesne territory. But I think his development is a big part of this team because it gives you some depth at quarterback. This time they keep it on the ground. There goes Trey Benson. Kiss number three. Goodbye. Touchdown Seminoles. You're going to see Bryson Estes, the left guard, a little pin and pull scheme. He's going to come out, kick out that defensive end. Patience by Benson. Make the safety miss. Gave him a little sump sump. Then up the sideline to get in the end zone. Let's not forget, Trey Benson broke approximately, and this is an unofficial stat, so don't quote me on this, approximately 70 tackles in the first half. That time he only needed to break one to get to the end zone. That was just a rough estimate, Drew. I yeah. wasn't counting individually, but Tally that's what marks. it felt like. If they can stay healthy, he's going to be as good as there is in this league. They're all above 90 yards. 127 for Ward, 101 for Toa Feely. As you think about the running backs that Florida State's had over the years, most recently Cam Akers before that, Dalvin Cook. I mean, this is one of those places that is used to success at that position. To the top of your screen at the defensive end position, they've been close. I'll be looking to get to the quarterback. Mishler to throw right on cue. He is dumped. Jared Verse arrives in the ACC. Watch him to the top of your screen. He's going to swipe the hands of the, of the offensive tackle down and use his explosiveness in his bend to get around the corner and get Joe Mishler. That's go, that goes on teach day. Coaches across the country. It's funny, Florida State actually played Syracuse a couple weeks after that. And, of course, the coaches saw that play. So when Jared Verse went into the portal... That video came to us from FSU's football Twitter account, and it's a debate that's been raging for ages. As Tate Rodemaker completes the pass to Deuce Span. Yes, I have to do my job here. Span lost the lid, so they've got to stop play. So boneless wings, yes, they are chicken nuggets. I see. As Rodemaker on the quarterback sneak on fourth down and short, that should be enough to move the sticks. Which means I think the sauce can't be the definitive thing because it's the same thing. But boneless wings, you have to specify naked boneless wings because they come with sauce as Trey Benson picks up a first down for Florida State. I, I think it's a perfect analogy, but in all seriousness, this Florida State team has matured. That's like the boneless wing. There's Rodney Hill, the true freshman. Go ahead, Larissa. All week long in practice, that sort of trust between the two sides is something that's going to push this Florida State team. Rodney Hill goes airborne and scores for Florida State. Touchdown Seminoles. Certainly is. 
to the first. Get up there, big fella. Get in there. You'll never forget your first college touchdown. Rodney Hill, mark that one down. One of many to come. Early in his Florida State career in practice, able to get in the end zone. Ryan Fitzgerald boots through the extra point. His older bro, London, was the point guard at UVA. The Cavaliers' all-time leader in starts with 134. Six more than Ralph Sampson. And Parentes keeps it on the ground on his first snap. For the ascenders, that loaded team gets to Florida State and has really shown the talent during his early career in practice. I don't think so. They're going to keep that one for LSU. The ambidextrous punter out of Australia kicks it with his right foot. Roddy Jones's favorite football player has it inside the 10, rolling near the five yard line. Be interesting to see. Second down and six, Jamario Clements. Gets the call again and picks up a first down for the Dukes.